we are utterly destroying the planet because of our seemingly everyday innocent or seemingly innocent everyday actions. From what we wear, what we buy, what we use, what we put down the train, and of course what we eat. You know, what is a better way to live? How can we be living on this planet in a, in a way that's not destroying the planet? That's not harming other, other life, harming ourselves. And our tradition is chock full of teachings, values, and obligations. Obligations. It's not just like if you like, if you want. It's an obligation. It's an obligation in Judaism to show compassion for animals. It's a mitzvah, mina Torah. There's a mitzvah from the Torah, a commandment from the Torah, Tzor Bali Chaim, that says you're not allowed to cause unnecessary pain and suffering to animals. It's from the Torah. It's, it's not a discussion anymore. Right? So we have the solutions in our tradition. What we need to do is to rediscover them and then apply them to our everyday life. And for me, the more Torah I learned, the more years I spent in yeshiva, and the more years I've been learning since, the, the, the more Jewish reason I see uh, to be vegan. I see this, there's three main reasons, four main reasons, for me at least, why we should be vegan from a Jewish perspective. One, we kind of like talked a little bit about, about them here and there, but just to put them into one sentence. Number one is Tzar Bale Chaim, right? the, the Torah commandment not to uh, cause unnecessary pain and suffering to animals. Clearly, the factory farming world is violating that. Number two, Bal Tashchit, not wasting uh, valuable resources. Clearly, the factory farming world is violating that with its intense use of water, land use, other resources, all the pollution and emissions that come out of it. Number three, Shmir Taguf, the mitzvah, the Torah commandment to take care of our health. Our, our, our health. Clearly, it's already been proven by modern science that uh, vegan diet is the best diet hands down for human health. And number four, there are spiritual reasons in Judaism not to eat meat. That the, the Torah has all of these laws about compassion for animals to open up our hearts and get us ready for the future when we all, all Jews and all humanity, will stop eating animals. It's ingrained in our tradition. It's there. But it's all there. It's very clear. The laws about compassion for animals are very, very clear. There's very, very little... There's very little wiggle room, if any, you know, when it comes to like, you know, uh, the laws of compassion for animals, right? And, and, and comparing it to what's happening in the factory farm world. That's clearly not in line with the laws and values of the Jewish tradition. So again, uh, to borrow the, uh, some of the words from Rabbi Silver, we have reason to take great pride in our tradition that we have so many teachings and so many values and so many laws that direct our hearts and our minds and our actions towards this kind of lifestyle. The question is, we just got to do it, right? People are just used to tradition and used to eating the way their parents and the grandparents and great-grandparents ate. Well, you know what? We can't do that anymore. We can't afford that anymore. We don't have the luxury anymore. The world is burning, right? Animals are being slaughtered. 70 to 100 billion land animals a year are slaughtered so they can show up on a plate for no good reason, right? We, the Jews of this generation, have a responsibility to take the teachings of our tradition and apply them like they've never been applied before. That's the mission and the vision of our generation that no other generation before us ever had because they didn't have to have it. We have to have it.